Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the culture around Magic the Gathering of stealing, cheating, lying, 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 and doing other bad stuff. Uh, treating people very aggressively, throwing cards at people, and why this behavior is so common in Magic the Gathering when we wouldn't see this at an office or in real life. For instance, we wouldn't see as much stealing, cheating, lying at a job, maybe. I mean, I would hope not, otherwise that job would not exist very much longer. Here's a story of a person who stole $100 in Magic the Gathering cards from Target. He is not alone. Many other people have stolen many other Magic cards. His tactic is probably one that is as old as Target's. He goes to get some cards, he goes to the bathroom, he puts the cards in his pants, and then, you know, there's a bulge, the bulge is too big to be real, and then the police arrest him and find a bunch of magic cards. Now, first and foremost, magic is a luxury item. No one's going to starve just because you didn't get your magic cards from Target. There are some cases when I look at it and I say, all right, so that person, you know, needed food or they needed, you know, there's probably a better way to do it or they needed money because they had a dying grandmother or something like that. I mean, that's not the case at all here. This is a completely want item and the 100 plus, the 111.49 that he stole in Magic Cards, the resale value is probably $10 or less because it's Target, so it's only standard cards. That's assuming he pulled a planeswalker, right? So we're not talking about, we're talking about a 23-year-old named Billy Stevens who is going to Target and stealing something that no one should ever need to steal because it is a want item, it is a luxury item, and theoretically, I mean, this is probably one of the worst items to steal from a target. Yet he does so because I don't think most magic, I think a lot of people who steal and lie and they cheat at magic, like Alex Bacini, they are frank or are sexual or offenders slash predators. They don't live in reality because if you were, if you displayed Frank's behavior, let's say Frank was we all knew that Frank was engaged to somebody and he was our coworker. And every time we went to a conference or every time you know, we had a new secretary or social media specialist, Frank would just you know continue to hit on them nonstop. He would be sent to HR and then immediately fired and or sued. Or they would sue, I guess, the company, which would be us. So that would be bad. We wouldn't want to hire Frank. Or Todd who refuses to work on weekends. Uh, he's, he's a server. He, he's in a restaurant industry and he refuses to work weekends and holidays where they are the most busy. So that would be like a worker at my company saying that they don't want to work on Mondays because Monday is a hard day. Mondays are always our most busy day, right? And they only want to work on Friday because Friday, or they only want to work on Thursdays because Thursdays is Taco Thursday and Friday is Board Game Friday and we have a pretty chill Friday. Well, we would say, hmm, this is probably not the best uh, employee we can hire. Or it would be like Alex Pacini who lies and cheats and steals and lies and cheats and steals. Can you imagine uh, a whole office of Alex Pacini's like, we would go bankrupt in no time. I mean, we wouldn't even survive our first month of business because everything would be gone. We wouldn't have any computers or MacBooks. All the Mac products would be gone. Maybe he'll leave the Windows products. But even that, that would be totally useless. Anyway, back to uh, Smash. <laughs> Obviously, I love, I love my Macs. Anyway... Back to the concept, these people don't live in reality. If you're 23 years old, you should be able to make enough money to buy magic cards from Target. You, do, or you shouldn't have to steal them and put them down your pants. And even if you didn't make $111, let's say that you didn't have that money, then you can just buy whatever you have. Like, Why do you need to take something from a store? This happens all the time all the time, all the time. 
and people steal from local game stores, they steal from Walmart, they steal from Target, they steal from GameStop, they steal from Barnes & Noble, they steal from any place that has magic cards, there is a danger for crime to be committed, even, you know, people who punch and have guns, and it's very terrible, and in reality, this uh, this behavior, I think, is encouraged by Magic the Gathering. So, Alex Pacini, for instance, when he cheats, what does he get? He gets lots of fame, he can issue an apology on Facebook with lots of likes, and his name gets out there. Alex is not going away. He'll be with us forever. Wizard of Coast, mark my words, within the next five years, we'll hire him in some capacity. Is it to train judges how to catch cheaters? I don't know. I mean, I'm not really sure, but I'm positive that he brings eyeballs on the game of Magic. And that is good for Magic. Meryl has said many times that he likes cheaters in Magic because people watch. And he's exactly correct. If you want to get the most people to watch your game, then you need to have a villain. Because not everyone can be a hero. I mean, how many Disney stories is like, not? it's everyone's a hero and there's no villain? How many Marvel movies are there no villains? This is the guy who made Roseanne. Like his job is to make villains. And he had a really good one in Alex. And Alex will be back. So back to the stealing, the cheating. Like would you hire Frank to be an office worker? The answer is blank no because you would be sued so fast for sexual harassment that you I mean your company would go down in the would you hire Alex? No, the money will be gone. All the money will be gone from your bank accounts within the night. I mean, it's terrible. Would you trust, if you own a business or a card game store, would you trust Alex and give Alex the keys to your place to uh, lock up? Answer, no. Because when you get in the store tomorrow, there will be no product left. If you're 23 years old, you're a white male, you should be able to get a job doing something. Maybe you don't like it. Maybe like Todd Anderson, you don't like delivering pizzas. You don't like working restaurant jobs. But that's life. Life is tough. Life is harsh. And life is real. And I think a lot of these people don't live in reality. They live in some type of bubble where it's okay to steal. It's okay to cheat. And it's okay to lie. Because either they have to. Um, I remember reading an article about Sam Black, and Sam Black is a very intelligent individual. He is very intelligent. Um, he's a pro Magic player. I don't know if he's one of the top 24 that got the, uh, the $70,000 salary, but he's a really intelligent uh, guy, and he's living with seven other roommates in a small one-bedroom like apartment, I think, in Florida. That was the article I read. And then when they did the uh, Magic pro-life video movie the magic movie they included um what was his name i forget his name owen owen turnwall and he i think lives at home with his parents and he's like 24 26 28 something old i don't want to take away but it seems like these people don't have like a plan the plan cannot be let's continue to play magic until we're 80 years old you don't have 401k, you're not paying, paying Social Security, although I guess you can receive the benefits regardless. Thank you, government. Um, and there's no plan. You're not getting better. So if your plan was to become a developer, okay, the first year you might lose money. The second year you might lose money. But eventually, if you really want to become a developer, you work hard at it every single day, you eventually will make a six-figure salary and have the options to work anywhere you want in any city you want because developers are very hard we paid our dude one hundred eighty thousand dollars a year w2 full benefits uh medicare matching 401k and all this great stuff for him and that was the going price eventually you can at least become something like that but if you're a magic the gathering player you can't there's no path there's not a path I can see, like unless you're one of the 24 people. And even then, we don't actually know what that looks like. They could cancel it the next day. One day they have it, one day they don't. 
it could be gone in the next year. There's no long-term plan. So back to the issue. Uh, a 23-year-old decides to steal $111 in magic cards in Target. He just ruined his life. He ruined his life for something that he didn't need. Something that if he were to resell at a store is probably less than $10. And something that no one should ever really have the inkling to do. It's to steal magic cards from Target or Walmart or any of these places. Mainly because... To be quite frank, no one needs magic cards to survive. Yet in this reality, magic cards is so important to him, he's going to risk not just his current livelihood, but his future livelihood. This will be put on his record. This will be on the news. You see a picture of him. I mean, gosh, like an employee employer is going to type in his name in google and then the first thing that comes up is that he steals magic cards from target whatever that employer is doing let's say they're a construction company that they every single job requires a level of trust now some require less than others but i can't imagine a job where a employer would view this as a benefit oh great you stole some magic cards from target i'm so proud of you in real life is it worth it to steal these magic cards? Is the risk, even if the risk is very low, you ruined your life at 23 years old for $100 in magic cards from a target. I don't know what else to say. Um, I don't know what else to really, um, really say about this topic except it's extremely foolish and only imagine i mean in the workplace environment and the real life when you're working at a restaurant you're working at a startup you're working at a marketing agency you're working at a law firm you're working at a real estate uh, development company you're working at a software company none of this none of these people are employable alex frank the guy from target um todd and the list goes on. They all exhibit very, very bad characteristics. And they're not people you want to be friends with either. Because you couldn't trust them. You couldn't trust them. Would you trust this guy to pay you back? Hey, I dude, I need to borrow 100 bucks. All right, here's 100 bucks. Will you pay me back? Nope. Would you trust this dude with your car? Would you trust this guy for house sitting or pet sitting or anything that you would deal a friend with? The answer, for me at least, is no. Blank no. And then the predators, blank no, I do not want any association with any type of predator because it's just gross. Not only is it gross, but we have lots of clients that deal with children and they would want no association with, with us as a company if we had we hired people like that. So we can absolutely not hire people like that. And I know a lot of you, I, I've been very, very adamant about my um, beliefs on you know, felons and second chances and all this stuff. And Alex is a perfect example. You give him one chance, you give him another chance, you give him another chance. How many chances do you have to give someone before you just say no? Well, for different people, it's different amounts. There's people who still believe Alex deserves another chance. I gave up on Alex a long time ago. A long time ago. Even when the majority of people didn't give up on him. And the reason being is very simple. Circumstances can change, right? If Alex has a really good hand and maybe he doesn't need to cheat to win and maybe he doesn't cheat. But if Alex has a really bad hand, maybe he doesn't cheat because he knows the cheating won't help him. But if Alex is given a circumstance where he can cheat and get away with it and no one will find out, I fully expect him to cheat. I fully expect people to steal. I fully ex if they have done this before, because that's just your nature. To change your nature by writing a, I mean, the best example of this was the heartfelt apology on Facebook that he deleted. I guess it wasn't that heartfelt. And I guess that was all lies because he cheated immediately after at a low event for thirty dollars. Games. <laughs> oh my gosh! Right. People don't change. Bye.